Hey, Mr. Death Breath, guess what? What? Evil dies tonight. Evil, Evil dies, dies tonight. tonight. Evil <laughs> dies tonight. Evil dies tonight. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Feelin' Ghoulie podcast. It is technically the second episode. Uh, we had to come up with a name. I'm Strange Monkey. This is Mr. Death Breath. And uh, we're going to be doing this every month, hopefully. Um, this is, uh, when it comes to my channel, this is part of the uh, Strange Tober stuff I've got going on. But uh, yeah, I've, I've been looking forward to discussing this film with you. It's out. We have both seen it. So, what did you think of Halloween Kills, man? <laughs> okay, so I thought that Candyman was amazing. And yeah. I thought that was an incredible film and hard to beat, and then Halloween Kills happened. It, I'm not a just, fan of Halloween 2018, and Halloween Kills might be the best slasher ever made. It could <laughs> not be. The best the year. I think it, I, I'm going to say that it may possibly be the best movie of the year. Um, I mean, I'm I'm waiting on The Matrix, but I don't I, I don't know. The Matrix. Of course, there's the there's the Matrix, but I, 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 f right now. Halloween Kills for me, like, this is the best movie of the year. Um, it was, it was, it was something. Um, but yeah, let me ask you, oh, and by the way, ladies and gentlemen, there will be spoilers. We're just discussing this as we go. Spoilers. So um, many spoilers. What did you think of, of the opening scene? Okay, so... As everyone knows, there's that stupid petition because everyone's like, oh no, firefighters. Okay, that opening scene with Michael blittering the firefighters was amazing. It was a gore fest. And it's so awesome when Michael walks out and stands on the porch and the firefighters are like, oh crap, it's going to go down. And they all just get ready to fight this guy. And then they're all systematically destroyed. Like, special recognition to the firefighter getting sawed in half. And you hear him going, ah! It was like, oh my god. Yeah, nobody saw that coming. He was just like screeching they and they all stood their ground to try to stop him but they knew deep down the party was over and i don't understand why people came up with this petition in the first place they're saying that this is too violent when it comes to firefighters like michael has killed policemen he's many killed dogs, times dude. he's killed dogs and dogs are so more many. important to some people than firefighters exactly and you know that crosses the line <laughs> and here we have the firefighters that tried to stop him and they couldn't. And I said, when when the scene was over, I thought, this is what they were trying to stop? Really? This is Halloween. There's no, no, there's no uh, sunshine and daisies. We don't have that here. <laughs> it's a stab up on a free for all, man. Everyone goes down. Exactly. Women, children, animals, firefighters. Nobody is safe. Not a damn person is safe, but I, I will say that that opening scene was so brutal. Um, and anybody that's a Halloween fan, I, I'm sure they're going to love that when they get around to seeing it. Um, so what did you think of of the film's plot overall, as, you know, as far as what was going on with the townspeople and all that? You know, I feel like this, I think back, did this, if we can edit the I feel, I hate that I said that. So I'm going to start it from the top. Okay. What I loved about it is this feels like a true organic sequel. So like with the Halloween 2 original, which I'm not really a fan of, it's kind of boring to me. It's just kind okay. of like now we're trapped in a hospital. I know that John Carpenter tried his best, but this makes more sense. It makes more sense that they're going to hunt him down. They're going to try to stop what he did. They're going to try to kill him. The whole hunting him down as a witch hunt, it was just, it's a stroke of genius. And Anthony Michael Hall was such a great actor in that scene. He stole every scene. I, I, I honestly... He stole the show as far 100%. as, you know, and, and this he's not a brand new character. You know, he's, he comes back as Tommy Doyle, who was, you know, an original character from the first film that survived. And I, I just thought he did such a fantastic job, oh, you know, man. just encouraging everybody, leading the troops. And I, I do agree with you. It feels like a very organic sequel because people know about what happened. You know, and they are aware that this individual is still alive. And once they find out what's going on, it's like, oh, no, like, what do we do here? So it's like they have to get together to try to stop them because they're tired of it. It's been 40 years. It's like, it's time to go, Michael. 
So I have to ask you, how did you feel about the creative kill? And by creative, I'm talking about how Michael managed to get people to shoot themselves with their all freaking guns, dude. I don't know how the hell they did that. <laughs> I, you know, I think that happened more than once in the movie. Twice, dude. And yeah, twice. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, th- like these people were ready. You know, they're like, all right, let's... And then, I'm like, whoa. <laughs> like the but the print chick got her freaking bullet in her kneecap? <laughs> well, that see, that's what happens when you get really, you know, when you're on your high horse and thinking you can stop everything with a gun. Now, the first one with uh, with the nurse lady, that that was right, not her she's fault. The doctor, just to make that clear. I thought it was no. Her husband was the doctor. No, she, no, her husband was dressed as a doctor, but he was a nurse. But she was actually the nurse. Or am I wrong? I don't know I anymore. You might be wrong. I, I don't know. Maybe they were both nurses, but yeah, Michael kicks the kicks the door at her, and then poof, I was like, oh shit! Like everybody in the theater erupted. They were like, whoa. Yeah. Um, but yet yeah, th- those kills were executed perfectly. They were unexpected, and that's what I enjoyed about it. There was a lot of things that you could not predict in this movie, especially scenes like that with those types of kills. Wow, like he is just yeah. the master of just back. Talk about backfiring, like literally. Literally. Um, <laughs> but yeah, what did you think of the uh, the film's pacing overall? There was one moment that I did get a little bored. Okay. And I didn't mention it in my review because I didn't think it was that big of a deal. Because by the time I noticed I was bored, it changed. And I think it was between the false accusation of the other escape patient and him jumping out the window. That kind of slowed me down a little bit. Mm-hmm. But I understood that they kind of wanted to show how, like, sheep mentality could be dangerous. So so it kind of worked for the sake of the story. Yeah, you definitely. Know, so I, I was okay with it, but that was really it. Otherwise, it was fantastic pacing. Right. And, and it's so crazy because it frustrated me as the viewer because I know that they're wrong. But there was only maybe one or two people that realized, oh, wait, that's not him. And everybody was just yelling and the situation became extremely chaotic they were running around with like chickens with their heads cut off and you know once they realized what they did you know it was too late it's like oh shit what do we do ah let's keep hunting them down (laughs) you know one thing that really gave me the creeps and i thought about it later is when those kids were swinging in in the park yeah and they're like yeah there's a guy that keeps popping out of trees and like looking at us, he's like, "You're such a perv," and I'm like, "Dude, that is so creepy." So Michael was like toying with them potentially before he killed them. But yes. was very unsettling that he was just kind of like. And the fact that it was sort of off screen, you just you can just picture that, but then you actually see him with the other mask, with the skeleton mask. I'm like, "Oh damn!" I have a theory killed. though. I, I have a theory. <laughs> if, Let's hear it. Here's what happened. This is why you saw the silver shamrock masks. They were trying to make a comeback to kill all the kids on Halloween, and Michael put a stop to it. <laughs> I mean, that kind of makes sense. I, I can accept that. It makes a lot of sense, actually. He probably knew what was going on. He said, no, I'm going to handle this shit, and, and I'll, then I'll get back to Haddonfield. <laughs> exactly. It's like, I'll get back to Haddonfield in a second. I got a side quest I got to take care of real quick. <laughs> what is it? Santa Maria just goes and stabbing his way through <laughs> Just, that's what he did. He was just stabbing his way through everything. But um, but yeah, so the characters, the returning characters, what did you think of Karen, Allison, you know, Laurie, and all that? Honestly, dude, no one really stood out to me except for the actor. I mentioned his name in my review, but I can't remember. I know that one of them is like Michael McArthur and then Arthur something. Basically, Little John and Big John were oh, uh, killers and Anthony Michael Hall. But everyone Michael. else... They didn't do bad. They just really didn't do anything to get me, like, you know, it, it didn't, it wasn't, it was neither here nor there. You know it what was mean? just right in the middle. But you James Jude Courtney. Okay, l- let me give, James, you're amazing, though. I did not like his performance in the first movie. I thought he seemed like a stuntman. This one, he 100% made his own. He might he be the was. best Michael Myers ever. Like, I truly believe he, he came harder than, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I think he did a fantastic job, you know, and this one, he, he took it to another level that performance um and you know and for being if this man being the age that he is you know he's a much older man but they needed somebody to be older because michael is older uh, they believe he's in his 60s so for him being a stunt man and just 
you know, taking on the mantle of Michael Myers, like he he knocked it out of the park. Like you were genuinely afraid of what he could do because he's a very dangerous individual. So yeah, I, what's that? He's such a nice guy in real life. I know he's like very polite and whatnot in interviews. But yeah, the the Big John Little John thing with uh, Michael McDonald and uh, the guy I can't remember the guy's name. I remember him from. Uh, the Breaking Bad El Camino movie. He was That's in that. Right, that was him. Yeah, that was the guy. I'm looking at him like, oh yeah, that was him. But they were great. You know, it was so hilarious. And when I realized that they were in the Myers house, I'm like, That's the Myers house. They fucking renovated it. I'm like, Oh, these guys yeah, are done, it, dude. <laughs> yeah, I was like, that, That's not your property. What did you? What have you done? And I was like, You guys are done. And and when I hear those. Boom, boom, boom. You know whose like, house this is? <laughs> yeah, you know whose house is this? It's like he stabbed his sister in the tip. <laughs> he still sold the candy, so the threat didn't even matter, dude. <laughs> I know, like, he, he threw it back right at those kids, which cracked me up. That was, that was good stuff. Dude, so how did you feel about the gore? Because this is a very gory movie. I was very surprised. Um... I was not expecting this much gore. This may be the most goriest Halloween since maybe Rob Zombie's Don't Halloween. Don't say it. He doesn't exist. Those movies are terrible. Okay. Uh, Uh-oh, I think we caused a fight here. <laughs> well, you know, I, I can't say that they don't exist because they do. They're not canon. They have nothing okay, to do Indiana with it. Jones these. doesn't exist. Indiana Jones 4. Alien 3 doesn't exist. And the Rob Zombie movies don't exist. Okay. And in, in, in your world, they don't. I don't want Alien 3 to exist anymore, but uh, Ridley Scott ruined that for everybody. So it is what it is. That's that's life. But, um, yeah, it was incredibly gory. Um, I appreciated the fact that they did that. Um, they, Like I said, they stepped it up in this movie, and it, it worked like a charm. It was just chef's kiss all around. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Um. Mm. It really makes me long for a day where we have more slasher movies. Like, I'd love to see a reinvented Freddy with not just, like, the mainstay. Like, like what made this movie so exciting for me is that, one, you were excited for each kill after every kill. And every kill, it wasn't just like, hey, let's pop out Strange Monkey's eyeball. It's like, no, no, no. Let's have him get knocked into a wall and then fall into a meat grinder and his eyeball pops out on the floor. Like, they really tried. They, like, you know, the fact that he was surrounded by knives when he killed that beautiful lady, and instead he grabs the neon light, shatters it, and then impales it into a jugular. Like, that was just a stroke of genius. Like, the way they took an unapproach, an uncommon approach and made these amazing kills. And that's what... We need more kills like this in slasher movies, and we need a slasher revival. I agree. And there were more creative kills in this one, you know, when you compare it to the other ones in the franchise. Like, you know, Halloween 4, you had that shotgun kill. I don't remember that is, movie. You don't... Know, well, you, you have to revisit it. This is perfect timing. But there was a scene where... One of the girls um, is bringing coffee over to the to the deputy, and it turns out it's Michael holding the shotgun, and he just you know shoves the shotgun in her, and she goes up into the wall. And she's hanging there. I was like, wow, that was one of the best kills in the entire franchise. But um, yeah, like I said, I really do appreciate the gore, and it, it was just it was beautiful. <laughs> um, were you a fan of the ending? I absolutely... Or are, are, are you a fan of the ending? Absolutely, 100%. You know, I, I want to touch on a couple things while I touch on that. The ending was fantastic. I, I really hope that ultimately they either freeze him in carbonite, cut off his head, or cauterize him. But I got to give so much love to Danny McBride, Scott Keen, and David Gordon Green. Because who would have thought that Danny McBride, who makes fart and dick jokes, ends up being a good writer? Scott Keen, I'm not familiar with him, but he's part of the crew. And then David Gordon Green. It's like... They made things so much better than the 2018 film, and this is just such a masterpiece. Like, this is going to be one of the greatest slashers for decades. I it's agree. This is such a masterstroke. This is one that has the potential, you know, and especially if they, if slashers are revived, you know, this is definitely one that really elevates it. And they did such an amazing job writing it and directing it, because I really do feel like they planned all of this out like little things like they show you how michael survived and it's so simple how he was able to get out there i was like i cannot believe this like you know, everybody would overthink and come up with theories and it was the most simple thing i was like wow that it was is... like in your face you didn't even realize it yeah it's, it's right there and of course we have to give a shout out to 
John Carpenter and Cody Carpenter and um, I forget the third guys. I, I don't know if he's also family, like his nephew or uh, I forgot his name. But um, they did a great job with the score. The score was another, just like yeah. the last one, they knocked it out of the park with this one. And, you know, it was effective. But overall. I think we're going to a witchcraft area. I don't know. I feel like we're going to start going there. I feel like they could. There. Because it's like, could. remember, he's an unstoppable evil. He, he'll never stop. It's like, that's how you bring in the witches from Halloween Season 3. Or Halloween Season of the Witch. That could be a possibility. I've, I've heard rumors that they want to explore that again. But it has to make sense if they do that. But um, but overall, I I thought Halloween Kills was very good. Um, like I said... They step things up as far as the gore and the story and, and whatnot, the kills, and, you know, the acting. I had no issues with anybody's performances. I, I loved everything. Um, and the flashback scenes. That was, that awesome. was I loved it. And the, and the actor who portrayed Loomis. Dude. was great. I loved right? it. Like, yeah. A little off, but for the most part, it was a completely more than, more than acceptable. And the way they shot that, it really looked like it belonged in the original film. They nailed it. I never questioned yeah. it. It was never I, a thought. I, this isn't right. No, it's, it's like they did such a good job that it's, out, it's rivaled what Marvel's done. <laughs> I mean, oh, yeah. And there's nothing. They, they're they getting up there. Marvel's going to get scared. It's like, oh, shit. What, what's going on? <laughs> like, they don't but, have the um, billion dollar freaking budget, man. Yeah, I mean, and I think they shot the the 2018 one for 10 million, and it made like 200, you know, 200 like 50 million or something. But if I hope that it makes the same amount of money and more, but with Peacock, you know, people were not ready to go back to the theaters yet. Um, I don't know, but hopefully it does well because you know there were quite a lot of people in in the theater that I went to see it. So uh, Did you we'll see John Wick three. I've seen them all. Yes. Okay, do you remember when John Wick was killing people and everyone was reacting? People were I felt just... the same way in Halloween Kills. Everyone was yes. reacting. It was a combination of excitement, fear, and, like, being impressed. Yeah. Uh, you know, when it ended, the way it ended, everybody was like, oh, my God. When there were, you know, when the, the humor, it was great. It was a nice little touch to just relax everybody until the next scene of all the fucking gore and shit. Like, it was... I like the way they did it. You know, it was a perfect blend of comedy, horror, and uh, well, it's not horror or comedy, but you know what I'm trying to say. No, when it was time to be funny, it was funny. When it was time to be serious, it was serious. But um, overall, I really liked it. Like I said, best movie of the year for me. How do you feel? You do you feel the same way? Absolutely. I, I want to ask you a question. So, how yes. do you? Where do you want the film to end? Like, how do you, how do you, like, based on how they set it up, like, I told you how I wanted it to end. How do you want it to end? When we get Halloween end, like, how do you want it to go down as a fan? I really want, good. I want to see an epic showdown, you know, but with the main characters and Michael, you know, Laurie Strode and all that. We all know that this may, I, if I'm not mistaken, this might take place a couple of years after what happened during the events of this film I, that's a rumor that i'm hearing but um I, I, it has to, somebody is going to go down <laughs> and if there's like a sacrifice made i don't mind that at all you know some sort of heroic sacrifice that will help michael die but i i do think that michael needs to go if it's called halloween ends let's end it if it's some sort of twist ending where Michael wins, that'll be the most horrible thing they could possibly do. JLC it, said to be you're going to be upset and it's going to upset a lot of people, the ending. That's what she I, said. I don't, I don't know what that means exactly <laughs> but I, I'm all for it. I'm invested. So, what about you? How do you feel about that? Like, the, like how would you want it to end? You know, honestly, if they like put him in a supermax and never feed him and chain him to a wall and keep like, you know, turrets trained on him and that's how the movie ends i'm fine with it but they freeze him and drop him to the center of the earth in a sarcophagus made out of like impenetrable steel i'm fine with it i, I just i want it to end for a while so like you know how they did scream they did you know scream four and then now we're finally getting word of another scream like what 12 yeah. years later so let's have another massive time jump so we can appreciate this like kind of like infinity war and endgame i want to just feel like wow 
That's what they yes. did. That's what this was. I'm so happy. And then we can watch the next movie. And if it's good or bad, at least we can always go. At least we have Halloween. Halloween still Halloween ends. They, they need to have a little break here. You know, it's like let our minds just, you know, recharge after seeing all of that, especially with the Marvel movies. Um, I'm so done with them, dude. I really. I need a break. My mind is fried after Endgame. I, I just, I need to just relax with all that. But. I'll finish the um, current IPs, but that's it. I'm not going to start Shang Chi or like the Snowtron or like that. Just, like, I, I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait. Doctor Strange. I'll finish those because I'm invested, but I'm like done, dude. It's just like we talked about the Walking Dead. It's just too much stuff going on. Yeah, you know I mean, and I, I mean, just, ra- they are going to wrap it up. I mean, I love the show, but it's time to wrap it up too. So yeah, it, it but, work. yeah, I, I think that about does it for this episode. Uh, I think we pretty much covered everything. So. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have seen Halloween Kills, let us know what you think in the comments section. If you haven't, what are you doing? Because we just spoiled the entire movie for you. Um, So, yeah, this is the Feeling Ghouly podcast. And we're going to try to put put this on social media, Spotify in the future. So look out for that. eventually we'll we'll set it all up and we'll share it um but yeah but for now subscribe to mr death breath subscribe to yours truly strange monkey and uh we will be back next month coming to a nightmare near you yes and as always have yourselves a good fright